you are watching a uh, computer basic tutorial today's topic is secondary memory we will discuss in detail about what exactly the secondary memory in the last video we have just seen a description about the secondary memory and we have uh, covered about the primary memory so let's look into the more details uh, some secondary i mean it's a uh, as discussed in the last video secondary memory means storing a data permanently into an uh, device external device that is called as a secondary memory primary memory is like uh, the memory which remains temporarily until the power is on right or the until the electronic device is on so secondary memory is something like which can store the data permanently <coughs> the secondary devices are floppy uh, ha cd hard disk pen drive usb external hard disk so these are the uh, different uh, storage devices let's look into the more details about this what is a floppy a uh, floppy was the first device which was introduced in order to show uh, data externally so it is uh, not much used or i i don't think it is much it is used nowadays it is a magnetic disk medium compared to a hard disk it is a small in size and it and capacity the floppies are protip protected the floppy is protected it is uh, used to transfer the data from one device to another that means we copy the data to the floppies and uh, uh, put that floppy into another system so that was the first invention of hard disk that uh, was very much used in those days but uh, since the invention of very big things came into the market so it's uh, the stopped use and it occupies very less space okay uh, protected with plastic coating and it has a notch on it to protect it uh, so it was very uh, very less space as it uh, uh, it was it was occupying uh, the space will be like uh, some kilobytes it can store some 1 megabyte of data so not much than not more more than much more than that sorry so next comes into the cd which is called as a compact disc and we have uh, in cd and we have also have a dvd the next version was dvd it stands for digital video disc it is similar to our disc it has huge storage capacity the data retrieval from cd is also much faster why i'm saying is hard disk is hard disk will cover in next one so uh, so cd is a compact disc it's round it look very rounded and where we can store our data and uh, we also have rewritable cds uh, that means uh, once you write the data onto the cd you can uh, remove the old data and you can write it again onto the cd these are called as a optical storage devices why because they store data on reflective surface and can be read with narrow laser lights so this is the sample uh, screenshot of a cd how it looks right in the next version is a uh, blue re a bit dvd where it is the in the the color will be like a blue okay next one is a hard disk it is presented in the computer and it can store large amount of data more than i can say like compact disk compact disk will have like uh, earlier it was started with 500 mb then 1 gb then 4 gb dvds came into the picture so hard disk uh, it is uh, presented in the computer and you can store large amount of data and providing quick access to the data it is a non volatile memory that means it's a permanent memory data is permanently stored even if power is switched off whereas volatile memory what was the example of volatile memory it was ran right it is used for uh, this hard disk is used for storage of data in a computer whenever when you buy a computer along with your computer the hard disk will be given either it might be a personal computer that is a desktop or a laptop see this is the screenshot of a uh, hard disk which is a which is of capacity of holding 500 gb then we have pen drives which is very very much used nowadays they it is a bit smaller in size and it uh, you can you can put it in your pockets uh, in your bags and everywhere uh, pen drive is often considered to be an improvement on both the older floppy disk and the modern compact disk a pen drive is called as a portable universal serial bus or call, we call it as a usb flash memory device for storing and transferring audio video data files from a computer for example uh, you can you can copy it is a uh, it's in uh, you wanted to have the data files like uh, your resume your important documents uh, your academic certificates and everything if you want to copy it uh, you can store that one into your pen drives and uh, 
if you want to have listen videos and uh, audios then you can store that one to your pen drive <laughs> depends on the requirement it is shaped like a pen and can be connected to computer using USB it should be easy to move the data from device to other flash drive can hold any memory anywhere from 128 MB to 256 GB or more the technology is going a lot within the small device we can store a millions of data large amount of data see this is a sample uh, pen drive of 8 GB then we have external hard drive uh, apart from the internal inbuilt hard disk we are using an external hard drive so typically have high storage capacities and are often used to back up the computers it is also a serve as a network drive this is the sample external hard disk so then we'll talk about something as a memory since we are into your memory I thought of sharing you talk about the cache memory what is cache memory is a very high speed semiconductor memory which can speed up CPU it act as a buffer between the CPU and the main memory it is used to hold those parts of data and program which are most frequently used by CPU it stores data for a temporary use okay I hope you got a good information about the secondary memory you know, and uh, we have uh, seen about uh, we have seen various pictures of what uh, secondary memories that are exist in the real world okay thank you so much for watching this video <coughs> if you like this video can you please feel free to subscribe for more videos I'll be coming with more and more videos on computer basics